Good morning, friends. Welcome to another exciting session of Software Asset Management. Myself, Deva Jyoti Das from Product Success Team of ServiceNow, and I am a Product Success Architect here, mostly dealing with all the modules of ICANN. In today's session, we will integrate Software Asset Management of ServiceNow with Salesforce CRM application, and then we shall see how our SAM will position CRM licenses to the software asset workspace. So what do we have in the bucket today? This is our safe hour statement, the standard statement, and in the agenda, we will have an introduction, then what are the considerations for this integration to happen, the steps that we will need to cover for this integration to happen, and this particular demo will look at the CRM side of the configuration on our next videos, we will cover the rest of the steps. So with ServiceNow SAM, we can integrate with Salesforce Customer Relationship Management application. We can download the user subscriptions. We can also reclaim the subscriptions. As part of the consideration, we need to ensure in ServiceNow, apart from SAM plugin being active, this SaaS license management plugin should also be activated and this plugin is available in the store. Now, obviously you need to work with your Salesforce admin. He will be needed to configure the Salesforce part of the integration. So before we jump into the demo, this is how we will execute the demo. First, we will see how CRM side of configuration goes by. Basically, we will register an application, extract the needed credential, and then use that credential in ServiceNow for the handshake between ServiceNow and CRM to happen. After the CRM side of the configuration, we will look into ServiceNow side of the configuration. That means we will configure the Salesforce integration profile. We will create the connections and then the solution or the integration should start happening once the connections are correctly created. Post the integration or the jobs, which is basically the outcome of a successful integration gets executed, we will validate the loaded artifacts. That means the software model or models of Salesforce should be auto-created in ServiceNow instance. The user subscriptions will also be loaded. So we will be validating those things. And post that, we will look, we will think of creating the entitlement. Now, here is an important point, friends. In SaaS integration, it always gives an edge to the SAM admin to create the entitlement post the integration is established. The SAM admin will be able to understand what all the software model or application that is other application in this case the crm is holding and based on that data he can determine or chase with people in the organization to fetch the correct entitlement we will then have the reconciliation run and will rip the output of reconciliation through the dashboard the reports obviously the license positions from the software workspace and we'll wind up seeing how the reclamation use case goes for CRM. Let's move into the first part of the configuration, which is CRM side of the configuration. And as mentioned before, this video will deal with the CRM side of the configuration. Rest of the steps will be covered in the next video. We are now looking into my demo instance and you could see software asset workspace is what is open here. Uh, let's go to the license operation and quickly check if we have any existing Salesforce model here. So let's check it. There is no model with the name Salesforce in it. And let's go to the user subscription and let's verify if we do have any subscription loaded from salesforce crm we don't have anything now so the next step is let's use the guided setup of uh, ServiceNow or sam to set up this integration for this we will click 
direct integration profile and click new and we'll search for Salesforce CRM and continue and now this will open the gadget setup layout so in the gadget setup you could see the needed steps are written here the first step being register a Salesforce application so I will start following these steps first part is to log in into the application so let's log in now I am playing the part of a Salesforce admin and log into the Salesforce application. Salesforce has the classic view as well as the lightning uh, view. This is what you are seeing is the lightning application or view of Salesforce. Now from here I will go to setup. Now let's get back to the workspace. Bear in mind it is written you need to switch to classic Salesforce UI which you can do it or you can also do it in the lightning application. So we have done this step. These two steps are done. Now let's execute this step. That means we need to find the apps in Salesforce application. And where is my application? Here it is. So here we will rather type apps directly. Here uh, we need to click on app manager. And from the app manager, in, we need to click on select new. So you see new connected app is available under app manager. Now we click on that new connected app. Here we need to put the credentials. We are done with this step, this step as well. And now we will put a name to the credential to this uh, app. Let's say service now, and you could see it is auto generated. And the contact email, my email, I'll be putting it in here. We do need to mention OAuth setting, callback URL, and authentication scopes. So let's do it from here. Now I'll put my email. And then going back to the workspace, I have to enable authentication setting, enable OAuth setting. Now we need to define the scopes so going back to the gadget setup you could see it is asking for these two scopes to be added to the application just to tell you the same information is kept in the documentation you could see here the documentation for integration with salesforce crm and this is the section that part is referring to so how do we do it? You could see there is a minor change in the scope nomenclature, but the value underneath value is same. Now the other part is callback URL. So we need to get the callback URL, which means this one. For that, we need to go back to uh, the service now. So we will now search for the connection in the connections and credential module. And here, let's search for our Salesforce. Here it is. And we need to create here, create new credentials, connections and credentials. And you could see the URL here. This will be the callback URL that we need to set up in the CRM end. So here it will go like this. So now let's save this configuration. In fact, I feel like it's too generic a name. Let's put it this way. So you should be redirected to this page now. We will copy the consumer key and secret. So clicking on this button, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you need to copy the consumer secret, consumer key, and just store it locally. 
now i am going back to the man uh, manager app manager and accessing my newly created app and one change that we need to do here is click on manage and under edit policy actually two changes we have to do here one is ensuring the refresh token policy is chosen or selected for this value which is refresh token is valid until revoked and then there is permitted user which you should set it to admin approved user are pre-authorized now save it now the next thing is we have to add a profile to the application and hence i'll be clicking the manage profile and we'll be assigning system administrator profile to this application with this we could see the profile has been set the policies are also set so and also we have the consumer security keys thus we are done with the salesforce crm application part of the configuration the next video we will look at the configuration part from service now perspective